Hello everybody, Mike Welch coming to you from Clocker's Corner at Santa Anita, a little different perspective today with the Daily Racing Form Breeders' Cup Workout Report brought to you by Spendthrift Farm, the home of four-time reigning champion sire in a mischief whose seven pre-entries are the most by any sire in this year's Breeders' Cup. Well, the gang's all here now. Uh, everybody's uh, on the grounds and uh, training here at Santa Anita. A lot to look at in the morning with 175 horses entered in this year's Breeders' Cup. Tough to get an eye on everybody, especially when uh, a large portion of those go in the dark here. It's dark from 5 to almost 7 a.m. We're going to give you some impressions that I found uh, that I made this morning from what uh, some of the ones I did see. Uh, all the uh, heavy lifting is over, but there's still a lot of work to do between now and uh, when the horses get into the starting gate for the first of the 14 Breeders' Cup races on Friday. Early this morning, a couple of the horses that I caught my eye real quick were from trainer Todd Pletcher's barn. Now, Todd uh, did all of his final uh, serious works at Keeneland before shipping over here. Uh, Bright Future and Dreamlike were out very early, well before dawn, and they looked good coming by the grandstand. Hard to see them on their gallops when they got to the backside. It was so dark, and uh, they were in behind their turf uh, stablemate up to the mark, who also looked good. No official uh, Breeders' Cup workouts this morning. Derma Sadagaki, who was going in the Classic, did open gallop down the lane, or actually about three-eighths of a mile I had him in 42 seconds flat so it didn't make the tab and he may actually return and do something a little bit more tomorrow as might Ushba Tesoro. I'm hearing he's going to have a breeze tomorrow and he may also go back to the stable gate for some more schooling. I thought he might go back this morning. He had a uh, rough morning there, uh, acted up, got a little agitated there yesterday but I'm hearing he may go to the starting gate again tomorrow. Also uh, again not a, an official work but on the turf course this morning uh, Shahiria, Shahira, I hope I uh, pronounced that right, who's going to run on the turf, blew out down the lane, looked good in 25 and change and continued with good energy into the turn. Also on the turf, Wynn Marilyn and uh, Jasper Crone open galloped as did Inspired. Not a lot of activity on the turf, less than I would have expected, but uh, especially at 10 a.m. when the, uh, the uh, U.S. horses are eligible to go on the grass, there have been really no takers for that. The international horses go at 7.30. Now I'm expecting uh, maybe some uh, timed workouts over the next couple of days uh, for that group. Now the highlight every year here is the first sighting of the Aiden O'Brien uh, Breeders' Cup contingent. It's quite a sight to see. Uh, they come out single file with this military precision, so well schooled. Uh, they came around this morning and they jogged. There were 10 of them this morning. They jogged a mile. Uh, to the back to the wire and then open uh, sort of cantered a mile and then walked home in the same exact order that they came out in and they were led by uh, Bol Bolshoi Ballet who won the grade one Manhattan in his last start. Just going to run through some other horses that, that did catch my eye today. Master of the Seas who had a half mile work on the turf, an unofficial one but I thought a very good one here Sunday. Went, was on the main track today, and I thought he looked very good once again. Wider Barrio, another good morning for him coming off that uh, very, very strong work here several days earlier. He does the same thing every morning. He jogs back toward the wire, gallops a mile and an eighth, and he was really on his toes and full of energy after all of that uh, jogging back home uh, this morning. Desert Dawn, who I really loved her work out here for the distaff a couple of days ago, she was back out again today, and she looked really good. I was surprised to see, uh, just FYI out this morning, she worked yesterday. She breezed the maintenance half mile for trainer Bill Mott for the juvenile Phillies. She was right back out today, and I thought uh, from her, looking at her, that work obviously took nothing out of her. She made a good impression today. Other uh, horses for the classic that looked good today were Clapton. Uh, I liked him. He two-minute licked it down the lane and continued with good energy into the turn. Uh, also Saudi Crown. All the uh, Bra uh, Brad Cox horses are here now. His horses have been training great. They've been all at Churchill Downs. They came in yesterday and they all, uh, the whole lot of them look good today, but I thought Saudi Crown uh, was particularly good. The same with the Chad Brown horses. Uh, all of them were pulling hard and on their toes and uh, seemed quite happy and, 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 and really liked the local track their first time here. And among those, Zandon was really, really sharp. I thought he looked good as did Search Results, 
who will try to spring a mild upset in the disc staff. Uh, other than that, uh, Didia looked good again to me today. Uh, she's been full of energy in her galaxy. I thought Skippy Lawnstocking looked good for trainer Safi. Joseph this morning. Tamara, now I don't see Tamara gallop all that often. She's going to be probably the shortest price favorite of any horse in the Breeders' Cup this year. I thought she looked a little lackluster galloping this morning, and she never switched off her left lead from the top of the stretch to the wire. Uh, so we'll keep a close eye on her over the next couple of days. That's about it today, and that's about the way it's going to be the next couple of days. We may have a few blowouts tomorrow. Like I said, uh, Ushba Tesoro would certainly be uh, the one we're all looking forward to seeing. So uh, keep it right here. We're going to be here for another couple of mornings to keep a close eye on everything that happens here, Breeders' Cup-wise. And at DRF.com, you get to read everything that happens entirely Breeders' Cup-wise, workouts or otherwise. So for the best coverage of this year's Breeders' Cup, we're getting closer and closer now. Keep it right here at DRF.com.